Hi, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going to look at how to easily redirect website traffic to alternate websites uh, so that you can control security. Uh, for example, if you may have kids and you want to just control what websites they go to, if you don't want certain websites to be accessed, you can actually redirect certain sites uh, to alternate websites. Uh, it can be used if you want to admin other things as well. So let's go in and look into this. So when I open up my browser, I'm just using Google Chrome, and I type in, for example, www.google.com, okay? It's going to go to www.google.com. Now, behind this is actually an IP address that it's resolving to, which is google.com, um, the IP address of that website. So what you can actually do is you can trick your browser. Well, you're not really tricking it. You're actually telling your browser, when I access google.com, go to this IP address, okay? And you can actually put an, a fake IP address in there or an alternate IP address of another website and they'll actually redirect traffic. So for example, what we can do is on your computer, on your Windows computer, you've got what's called a host file. So inside this host file, uh, it, it contains some information of where you want certain DNS names to go, right? And resolve to certain IP addresses. Um, and every computer has this. So let's go over that in, in, in a step here. So navigate to Windows System32 Drivers ETC. Okay. And you need to open that in Notepad. Now, if you try to open it as is, this file is protected. So you're not going to be able to unless you open it up as a um, administrator. So the easiest way is just to go into Start, right click on Notepad and say Run as Administrator. And yes. And then what I can do is I can just copy that link, open, and then say all files, and go to host. Okay. All right, so we've got the file in here. Now what happens by default is when you try to open up a website on your browser, it's going to look at this host files first. If it doesn't see anything in there that's related to a, a site, for example, it's just going to ignore it and then go and resolve that IP on the internet somewhere. So what we can do is we can actually trick it into going to an alternate location. So for example, I want to access the site apple.com, okay, and I want to redirect that traffic to microsoft.com. So just do a little bit of a prank, for example. What I need to do is I need to find what the IP address is of the microsoft.com website. So if I open up a command prompt, which I've got to open up here, all right, start command, or you can just go into run and type in cmd, and that'll open it up. You want to then do a ns lookup microsoft.com okay like so ns lookup microsoft.com and that is going to give me an ip address here 134.170.188.221 and what i'll do is at the start of this i'll go 134.170.188.221 okay now what that's going to do is when i try to access www.apple.com it's going to go, oh, it needs to go to this IP. So if we save that, and we open up our browser here, you'll see this in action, www.apple.com, enter, and there it goes. It's now redirected to Microsoft.com. Yeah, so people are going to be freaking out going, what's going on? Why is it redirecting? But essentially all you've done is you've told DNS, instead of going to this page, I want you to go to this page instead. Okay. So what you can do is for actual security, you can set up, um, uh, say, your own website locally in your computer. Okay. So what I've done is inside my C drive, I've just created a website. So I've installed the IIS drivers. So just for example, in here, I just created a simple file. Okay, that's just the text. Just saying this website is blocked, the activity has been logged. Okay, now I know that to access my own computer, I just need to go to 127.0.0.1. So what I could potentially do is I can go 127.0.0.1. And let's say we want to block YouTube. Okay www.youtube.com we try to access it is now going to redirect that traffic to 127.0.0.1
So if now I save that, make sure you save that host file, otherwise it's not going to work. And let's now go to www.youtube.com, enter, and it's just popped up. This website is blocked, the activity has been logged. So this is essentially what uh, a lot of firewalls will do. You know, if, if you're, say, in an office and you can't access certain websites, it's got a similar sort of system, a lot more complicated than just a simple host file, but it's essentially doing the same thing. It's just redirecting traffic from one place to another. Okay, and that's essentially what you do. And then just to clear that, you just go and remove those if you need to, delete, and then just save it again. Clear out your, your cache and your history on your browser and you should be back to normal. So that is a simple way that you can do, um, I guess, hacking if you really wanted to, if you're really inclined that way, wouldn't recommend to do that. But you can just have a bit of fun with your friends or if you actually want to use it for more of a, um, more of security in your home uh, or in your office, that's an easy way to do that. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.